Chris here with Diode Dynamics. Today we're going to be showing you the simple installation of our SS3 LED pods on a 2016 to 2019 Subaru Crosstrek in the fog location. In order to do this, we're going to be using our Type A fog bracket, which is a bolt-in plug-and-play installation, which is easy to do and only requires basic hand tools. Let's get started. The first step of the installation process is to go ahead and get your two supplied nuts out of your bag of hardware and put those into the back part of the work light housing itself. Once you have the two nuts installed, you're going to go ahead and put the bracket on with the DD logo facing the top of the lamp. With the Type A bracket installed onto the back of the work light housing, you're going to take the supplied screw with the washer, of course, installed, and you're going to put that through the bracket and thread that into the supplied nut. Once you have the two screws threaded into the back of the lamp, you don't want to tighten them down all the way with the wrench yet, as you still want some adjustment once you have it on the actual vehicle. To start with our installation, we're going to come over to the passenger side of the vehicle in the wheel well, and we're going to take out two clips, one being a blind rivet, one being a push clip. In order to remove this blind rivet, the first thing we're going to do is take a small screwdriver or a pin pusher or something like this, and you're going to go ahead and push on the middle of this in order to push that center into the bumper. The next step to prying out this blind rivet is to get a push removal tool underneath it and pry up on it. So the next step is to take out this push clip located on the inside of the wheel well. So we're going to use a small red pry tool. You could also use a flathead screwdriver or any other trim removal tool that will work. Push that out. And then you can grab the outside and then just pull it the rest of the way out. For the next part of our installation, we're going to go ahead and go to the bottom of the bumper and take out this push clip in order to pull out the bottom of the bumper. After the first push clip is removed from the bottom of the bumper, there's going to be a second one located more towards the front. For the next part of our installation, we're going to go ahead and grab the bumper cover and we're going to pull it out away from the fender in order to separate the two. With those two separated, you'll gain access to the inside of the bumper where the fog light's located. Then you're going to use a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen the outside of this push clip. With the outside of the push clip loosened up, we can go ahead and grab it and pull it out just like the previous clip. Once we have that push clip removed, we're going to go ahead and reach in and grab that 10 millimeter bolt and loosen that up to remove the fog lamp. With this 10 millimeter bolt removed, we can go ahead and take this fog lamp loose. and then disconnect from the fog lamp. The next step to the installation would be take our work light assembly, open up the bumper, and then put it up against the back to test for fitment. Once you're happy with the fitment of the work lamp, you can go ahead and remove it and then tighten down the bolts to the correct position that you need it in. Once you have the work light bracket positioned how you want it to as confirmed on the vehicle, you're gonna go ahead and tighten down the supplied hardware in order to keep it in that position. Next step, go ahead and install the SS3 work light into the bracket position. Next, we're going to go ahead and put our 10 millimeter bolt back into its position. Then we're going to tighten that down using our ratchet. With the 10 millimeter bolt back in place, we're going to go ahead and take our push clip taken out recently and then reinstall that into the bumper. For the next part of the installation, we're going to take our supplied connector in the install kit and plug that into the factory harness before plugging that back into the actual work lamp. With the connector installed to the factory harness, we're going to go ahead and plug in the DT connector into the work light. If you notice, we turned on our fog lamps after installing our connector and it didn't turn on. That's because these sockets are polarized, which means that they may not work one way opposed to the other. So if that does happen, you'll just have to go ahead and take that connector, flip it 180 degrees and plug it back in. After installing the fog light, we're going to go ahead and button everything back up the same way that we took it apart and then repeat the same steps on the other side to complete the installation. With our SS3 LED pods installed, you'll have brighter output than any factory option available for your vehicle. As you can see, the SS3 pods are easily installed using our Type A bracket kit and minimal hand tools making for an easy plug and play job with no extra modifications needed. We offer those kits in 6000K cool white or 3000K selective yellow with your choice of SAE approved fog or driving patterns. The driving pattern is meant to be a supplemental high beam while the fog pattern delivers an 80 degree wide spread meant to direct light in front of the vehicle. For more information on our SS3 LED pods, click the link below or use the dealer locator tool to find a dealer near you. Thanks for watching.